How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to create these banners with icons using HTML and CSS. Now all of this here is really easy to create and you can of course have many styles depending on which message you want to display. For example, right here I've got success warning and error but you can of course have your own custom ones if you wish uh, a good example to add might be something like an info message so uh, these banners are going to be compatible within basically any elements on your page or most elements because it's going to take up the 100 percent of the width for whatever element that it is within. So these are not limited to only being at the top of your page. You can place them practically anywhere. So let's begin inside this tab right here and begin from scratch to create what I just showed you. So going inside VS Code, I've currently got an empty HTML document with a linked up CSS style sheet. Now, the first thing to do is going to be to install the Google Material Symbols library. And this is uh, found by going to fonts.google.com forward slash icons. And a link is also available down below in the description. But this is where we're going to be getting all of the icons for the banner. So let's just scroll down here and you want to find the section which says developer guide. Within this developer guide here, you want to scroll down to the part where it, uh, where it tells you how to use the symbols. So I'll click uh, this right here, use in web. Then simply copy this first section under static font with Google Fonts. You can then paste this inside the head of your HTML and now you're ready to use the uh, material symbols. So more on that very shortly, but for now, let's jump inside the body and create the HTML for the banner. Let's create a new div with a class of banner and this here is gonna be the container for the entire thing. And within here, there's gonna be two elements, one for the icon and one for the text. So let's create a new span here with a class of banner-icon and leave this empty just for now. We're gonna make a second div with a class of banner-text and press enter. And this is where you're gonna place your text. I'm gonna simply copy and paste the success message that I showed you in the example. So I'll paste this right here. Okay, fantastic. So this is the majority of the HTML for the banner itself. Now, if I save this and go back in the browser here, we get something like this. So let's now include the icon on the page. As we know, the icon library is already installed, ready to use. So how do we now use it? Well, let's go back inside the browser here and go to the material symbols uh, website. Then you wanna search for your icon. In this case here, it's gonna be a success message. So I wanna include a check mark. So I'll search for check here and we get this, we get this one, there's multiple to choose from, right? I'm going to choose the simple check right here. I'll click on that and this might be hard to see. I'll just drag this over a little bit so you can actually see it. Okay, fantastic. So if we scroll down here, we have inserting the icon. You can simply either copy this HTML for the span and then update the class. However, we're gonna use the existing span that uh, we created. So let's simply copy this class, material symbols outlined, okay? If I can actually copy it by itself, I can't. Let's just write it out. So, um, you know what, actually, my, my mistake. Let's copy the whole thing. This is the standard usage, right? Then replace our span and simply bring this up to a single line. So now we have the span with a class of material symbols outlined. I'm going to add back the banner dash icon. So we have both the banner icon class and the material symbols outline class, and we have the icon identifier right there. So uh, my apologies about the, the span class name, etc. but that's what you need to do right there. I'll save this, go back in the browser now. And we have this right here. As we can see, the actual uh, icon is displaying. So let's now add some CSS to convert this here into this right here. Going back inside VS Code, I'll just expand this out once again. 
So going back inside VS Code, let's head inside the style.css file. So when it comes to the style sheet, we're gonna create a new rule set for the banner class. And firstly, we're gonna define a font size of 14 pixels. Now, this dash dash font dash size is just a CSS variable. This means we can reference this value of 14 pixels multiple times throughout the rule set. So more on this very shortly, but for now I'm gonna hop down and add some padding. The padding is gonna have a value of font size. So you wanna use var, then open bracket, pass in font size, then close bracket. This just means a padding of 14 pixels, okay? Cool, that's done. We can now add a background of a very light gray and a border of one pixel solid and then a not as light gray. So uh, using uh, triple E and then we have uh, triple D there for the gray color. We can now say a border radius of four pixels and a font size of, once again, use that font size variable. And we're gonna have a display here of flex and align items of center and a margin bottom of once again, that font size. So let me quickly walk through a couple of these properties here. So firstly, some padding around the text for the banner. We've got a background color and a border as well as a border color and a border radius. We've got a font size here, pretty self-explanatory, but the main part down here with the display of flex and an align items of center, this here is going to uh, vertically center both the icon and the text. So I'll save this here, go back in the browser and we have something like this. Now, just quickly, if I was to, for example, change the font size to be 20 pixels, save this back in the browser, everything with that variable is gonna update. So we have a single, a single value being used multiple times so it's easy to change in the future if you need to. We can now target the class of banner-icon and for the icon, let's give it a margin right of var once again and passing in that font size once again to stay consistent across the board. Save this back in the browser. There's some space now between the icon and the text. Back inside here, let's now target the banner-text class. For this one, we're gonna give it a font family of sans serif and a flex grow of one. A flex grow of one means that the text is guaranteed to take up the remaining space within uh, the flex container. So not a visual difference, but it may help you out if you were to try and include an icon on the right side to close the banner, for example. Um, it's just, I think, good practice to include that flex grow right there. And we are basically done with the banner itself. So we have the core HTML and CSS rules to get the banner to work, but now we need to explore those different colors such as success. The way it's gonna work is we're gonna have a modifier class on the banner itself to be whatever the style should be. So for example, we can say banner as the class name, then add a second class for banner-success. So now we can copy this banner-success class, put it inside the CSS style sheet, and we can modify a few things. I'm going to copy and paste what I've got for my example and we can see here we're simply adding a background to be a light green adding a text color to be um, a darker green and a border color to be a straight green within the middle here so this is how you're going to be able to have those modifier classes for your banner i'll save this go back in the browser here and we get this right here I'm also going to copy and paste my warning and my error. So I'll press paste right there. And we also have the warning and the error. So you get the picture. You can create multiple different classes like this um, to suit your own needs. And you simply change the class name on your banner for this to work. And that is all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that one and you learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.